pneumonia and lung cancer diagnosis treatment and risk factors the majority of pneumonia cases are not severe although the illness is serious the duration of symptoms depends on the person's overall health and the type of pneumonia they have pneumonia can take several weeks to resolve without treatment vital organs such as the heart and brain may not receive enough oxygen this can lead to confusion coma heart failure or even death the outlook for lung cancer tends to be worse than pneumonia regardless of treatment however if pneumonia is left untreated it can result in death identifying lung cancer at an early stage increases the chance of surgically removing the tumors before they spread this gives a person a good chance of recovery however according to the american lung association only 16% of people with lung cancer receive a diagnosis before it spreads if the cancer spreads or metastasizes or distant organs in the body the likelihood of surviving for 5 years is less than 5% over half half of all people with this type of cancer do not survive for longer than 1 year according to the american lung association diagnosis and treatment when diagnosing pneumonia a doctor may carry out a physical examination to check for swollen glands abnormal breathing or a high temperature a doctor will often confirm the diagnosis using an x-ray to show fluid build up in the lungs treatment will vary according to the type of pneumonia a person has and their overall health some people can treat pneumonia at home with plenty of fluids rest and medication people with more severe pneumonia may need to stay in the hospital to receive intravenous fluids and antibiotics they may also require oxygen therapy or breathing assistance it is more difficult for a doctor to diagnose lung cancer a chest x-ray can provide some information but a biopsy is often necessary to confirm the diagnosis if a doctor confirms a diagnosis of lung cancer they will request further tests including a pet scan this can help them assess how far the cancer has spread they will also order a biopsy a specialist takes a small tissue sample and sends it for examination under a under a microscope typically a doctor inserts a small tube into the lungs through the nose or mouth to collect this sample they will typically use a ct scan to guide the biopsy the results of these tests will determine the type of lung cancer the location of the primary tumor and the stage of the disease the doctor will use this information as well as the overall health of the individual to determine the most effective treatment approach treatments will aim to cure control or ease symptoms the options available can range from basic surgical procedures to chemotherapy or radiotherapy depending on the severity of the lung cancer risk factors any individual can develop both pneumonia and lung cancer however some factors make it more likely to develop these health problems lung cancer itself is a risk factor for pneumonia receiving chemotherapy treatment for lung cancer might also increase a person's pneumonia risk by reducing immune activity smoking tobacco is a significant risk factor for developing lung cancer especially over an extended period it also contributes to pneumonia risk 
Other risk factors for lung cancer include exposure to carcino carcinogenic chemicals such as radon, asbestos and uranium. A family history of lung cancer, previous radiation therapy to the chest, air pollution which some researchers suggest is responsible for 5% of global lung cancer deaths. The following factors can increase the risk of pneumonia. Chronic lung diseases such as chronic obstructive pulmonary disease or COPD or cystic fibrosis. Chronic illnesses in other parts of the body such as diabetes and heart disease. A repressed immune system which may occur due to chemotherapy treatment for cancer, HIV, organ transplants or using steroid medications over a long period. Recent respiratory infection with a virus such as flu. Staying in a hospital especially when using a ventilator. Drug and alcohol abuse which can increase the risk of a specific type known as aspiration pneumonia.